everything that I wanted to cover uh, in this, except to say once again uh, that, uh, and I, I'm going to say it several times, that in my view, we can't accomplish what we're going to try to accomplish in this network if we don't break some very fundamental academic paradigms and practices. We absolutely have to confront them, and we're going to try to do that over the weekend uh, and as we, uh, as we proceed. And I'll try to be clear about that as we, uh, as we go along, my thoughts about that. I want to introduce the, uh, the people who are making this work uh, and uh, have them talk a little bit about their role, uh, a couple of them at any rate. Uh, and I'm going to have Bronwyn Best to do that. Bronwyn's now been working with this project for a year and a half. Came on as we moved into the, the uh, second phase. Bronwyn and I have been colleagues for a considerable period of time. Some of you will know that, uh, that I, I was the founding chairman of Transparency International, uh, an NGO that actually came into existence only in 1993. Uh, and in 1996, I think it was, uh, I started out with graduate students, but it, it became a task that couldn't work any longer with graduate students. And, and I invited Bronwyn on as the national coordinator of Transparency International. And Bronwyn and I have been working together uh, ever since. Bronwyn's a remarkable person. I can't tell you all about it, but if you have a chance to talk to her, I hope, I hope you can. But one of the most significant things about Bronwyn, from our point of view, is that she's worked in the private sector, she's worked in the NGO sector, and she's worked in government, and she's worked in universities. And she has a remarkable network. And this is all about networking, so uh, I'm counting on Bronwyn to help with that network, to reach out to people that she knows to bring in uh, to the network. But Bronwyn's the project manager. Is that what we're calling you? We're working with titles all over the place. Uh, but for the moment, at any rate, Bronwyn's the project manager. And I've asked her if she would come up and introduce the people who we've gathered together, uh, who constitute what we describe as the hub. Uh, the group of people who are making this event work uh, and who will be making the network work at the center of it uh, to facilitate what we're doing. So Bronwyn, uh, Thank you. introduced. Thank you. Good morning. Um, and I'm very excited and pleased you're all here today. I look forward to what the next three days are going to bring because as Wes has said a number of times, we don't know what's going to happen. Um, there's a tremendous group of people that has been, have been working on this uh, project. We have held, and I'm just going to introduce them, what they're doing and have them wave so you can see them. There's Hilary Martin, who's our technology coordinator. Maggie McIsaac over here. Maggie puts um, all the information on the website. You probably had some correspondence with her. Brianne Whitwell over here, who's our admin assistant, and uh, you've had lots of correspondence with her. Tyler Wicken, um, part of our hub team. Jason Bream, next to him there. Mariana Azar. Mariana's back here. And uh, Michelle Romana. Thank you, Michelle, and Nikolai Arena. And Nikolai is over here, too. All of these people are one of undergrad, masters, um, doctoral students, or have just finished in philosophy, political science, um, here, or at the Schultz School of Business here at York University. They're extraordinarily talented people, extremely committed to the concept of business ethics and what this uh, Canadian Business Ethics Research Network could potentially accomplish. They're all very extraordinarily competent in technology too. So uh, working with them, particularly for Wes and me, um, who are not as competent techno technologically as they are, it's been a really enjoyable time and we look forward to continue working with them. They all, we all, have a red dot on our name tag and that's the key for you. It's dark in here, you can't see all their faces, but if you see a red dot, please ask if you're lost, where you need to go, what you'd like to know about the website, and we will be either be able to answer you or be able to get that answer for you. I look forward to the next three days. Thank you. Thanks, Bronwyn, and I hope you have a chance to talk to, to Bronwyn. Uh, before it's over, that's part of the conversation. And to the others who are, uh, who 
for working with us. Uh, now, I thought because we're doing experimenting in interesting ways with the technology, uh, and because uh, Hillary Martin is the person who's really working with our, our, our uh, website people uh, and with various concepts to create the interactive aspects uh, of this electronic system that we're communication systems, electronic marketplace we're trying to create. Uh, I wanted you to meet uh, Hillary, and I wanted her to talk just a little bit, just a little bit about the technology uh, that we're working with for this event. Hello. It may be appropriate that I am uh, testing the mic again during my introduction. Uh, my name is Hillary Martin. I'm a PhD student in philosophy here. I'm very lucky to be working with Wes Craig. Um, we're having a lot of very interesting um, scenarios evolving as uh, we, we come into this event. There's a new server at York. There's a new wireless mic system in the contract room. Um, there are a lot of new things happening, so we need to kind of test them as they go. Um, which is what I'm going to do as, as I talk to you today. <laughs> so, uh, so part of what is going to be happening is um, uh, part of what's going to be happening. Part of what's going to be happening is. Um, uh, we're, also <laughs> testing, <laughs> we're also testing a new clicker system tonight at work. Um, so it's very interesting we have Al Penn in here because Al has been doing uh, clicker technology for about 10 years. Um, York is, uh, is, is uh, entering into this now and we're entering into it with them. So uh, one example of new technology will be the clicker uh, immediate response system we'll be seeing tonight. We've been working a lot trying to develop an idea of a collaborative workspace, which Maggie is going to be talking about a bit. Uh, one thing, one, tech, one technical thing, you all have Aaron York accounts. So if you have your laptops, as, as I do, and I see that, on the back of your name tag, you have a username and password for the Aaron York system which uh, should be active in this room, in the Schulich building where we are, at various points around campus. And if you have any questions about where those are active, um, you can always contact me. Um, I will be either in the back or on the side. During the breaks, I'll definitely be on the side. Um, and I do have a red dot. Um, the, the technology is meant to be uh, an extension rather than something that limits us. So I'm hoping that we can take that opportunity uh, this week to, to look at it as an extension, rather than as, as an impediment to sharing ideas and knowledge. Um, some of the tools that we'll be discussing this weekend are projects that we've been working with, uh, working on. Uh, a wiki with Cunningham Web, a uh, wiki with the healthcare um, uh, at the, uh, Ethics business interface, ethics at the business healthcare interface, various other projects. So I look forward to uh, talking with you about those in the week. Thank you. This is all a bit formal, but maybe you can hear better, can you, with the mic? So we use the, uh, use the mic. I should say, by the way, that, that um, of all of the things that we're doing, what Hillary's referred to. Uh, the evening event is the most challenging and the most experimental. Uh, I've, I've indicated that virtually everybody who's participating is, is being challenged to do things they've never done before. Uh, we're using a clicker system, and one of the things that's going to happen tonight, and the, and the panel knows it, uh, is that every presentation is going to be evaluated by the audience right after it's done. Uh, we have a series of, of, of questions, so what we want to know is whether the audience thinks that the ideas that are being generated are of 